by transferring five frames from a swarm box into a hive deep. Let's let's look at the bottom of that frame again. Okay, so they're making wild comb underneath, but I've compensated by putting a shallow, empty shallow, underneath the deep to accommodate that frame and the honeycomb that's dripping down below. And here comes the full one, probably with the queen on it. And look at the honeycomb. Now we have to put it together exactly in the same configuration. Pollen, pollen. All right, pollen. On her legs here and there. They're bringing in pollen and there's brood there. This uh, swarm box has only been in here, the hive, for about less than two weeks. And this is what they've done. That's on an old comb that we baited the swarm box with. So putting it in exactly as it was in the swarm box. Very gently, not dropping or hitting it. So it looks like that would be the main frame that they are building on and it's see all the nice new wax, white wax that they're building. Oh gosh, look at That's that. That's a good one there. Look at that. That is really cool. Do you see any? Oh yeah. There's some um, brood, or no, that's pollen, actually. And there's honey up top. And yeah, the honey's up top. Wow. And oh, look at the um, look at the frame or this side. They have some really weird configurations of the cone. So this is kind of like um, what a top bar hive would look like. They build on top of a strip and a freeform configuration of honeycomb. But since I don't want to cut off the bottom extra comb, I put in a medium on the bottom. Okay, so this last frame, it's just a plastic frame, and they started doing a little bit on one side. A little bit of honey up here, storage. Oh yeah, a little honey right just starting. there where they're depositing the uh, nectar. So this is a swarm that um, came into the swarm box. And now we have some stragglers in there. And filling it up, the deep with the different frames. Some old, it's a combination of old frames and some new frames, which I took some um, melted beeswax and slathered with wax. So they would be more likely to build on it. All right, so he's moving the frames Spacing over, them so evenly spaced. spacing them evenly, exactly the way they were in the swarm box. We don't want to disturb them too much, but you can see that one frame is really built up on both sides. Okay, what are you going to do with the stragglers? I would just leave it open in front of it. Okay. And they'll, they'll go in by this evening. I mean, we could try to shake them off, but we're going, they're all going to just fly everywhere. All right, I so we're going to leave them, them open so they can crawl in. And I will check this evening to make sure that they've crawled in because if they haven't and they're in the box still, then it might be the queen still in the box. All right, closing it up. In our cover. In our cover. And, and so we never cover. even smoked. They, I had the smoke ready to go. They were very docile bees. <laughs> okay, so now we're putting the outer cover on, and that is it. Do we want to add a feeder or do a reduction reducer here? Um, I'm going to put a feeder okay. on. I, I have a, a hive top feeder, and I'm going to put that on the top. Um, just to get them going, but it really, they probably don't need it. 
because this is in the middle of the honey flow, but I'll just give them a little extra help. So that's all there is to it. The extra hive is in the bottom box and they're really going gangbusters. And I'll check them in about a week to see if they're drawing the comb across the uh, whole box. And if they are, I might add another box.